Hello guys and welcome to another quick review of Carolina EDC reviews. Uh, today I just want to bring a holster that I found on Instagram and it's from a company called Night's Fall Custom and here's the information if you want to follow them uh, and everything else right here. All the Codex uh, custom holsters they make. Uh, again you can follow them on Instagram again they, they on Instagram as well. Uh, at nightfall underscore customs again right there so check those guys out and <clears throat> i've been looking for a holster for my polymer 80 frames builds that i have and it's uh not many companies do make holster for those but there are some companies that do and some of them have are very expensive or you have to get them to custom made it for your firearm uh of course your polymer 80 frame builds uh some of them uh, do only have options from uh, you know not many options for your light bearings especially old lights that's been very popular nowadays and I like old lights so uh, I've done a review on this in the past of course I just recently done a review on this hollow sun here so check it out really enjoy it awesome got more to come for hollow sun hopefully but anyways as you can see I'm running the PL2 Valkyrie uh, weapons light from Olight and I really enjoy this light because it's got a lot of lumens, uh, very uh, bright light. And again, it's very easy to take on and off. As you can see, it's got the lever, but I don't review on that in the past as well. So the problem I was running is to find a holster maker that makes, uh, you know, specifically for the Palmer 80 because it's totally different than your regular standard Glock. So with this one, you can build it, the, <clears throat> excuse me, you can build it the way you want it as you can see uh this is, has the cutout for your rmr so it don't have no issues for your rmr uh being on this holster now another good thing it's got the high suppressor size as you can see i do have high suppressors on this uh firearm as well and of course it accommodates the ola pl valkyrie and another thing that i wanted to really uh have with this holster it was capability to uh, be able to have a compensator so as you can see it's got a hole on the bottom so it gives the the option of protruding your compensator on the bottom and not be in the way <clears throat> so that's everything i needed and wanted in a holster that you know it was capable to be used with my polymer 80 frames and that is awesome so another good thing is that you can um get different type of clips with them and I went with this one here. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, T-Lock or something like that. But anyways, <laughs> you can check it out on the website. But the cool thing about this is, this was I can mount, take not mount it, but take this on and off on any belt that I wanted. As you can see, it's got a adjustable bar here where you can uh, move it down the holes to accommodate the width of your belt, and then just uh, you know clip it on and move this little lever here to the side and that keep it from this clip coming open at all as you can see it's not going to come off but once you slide this lever back to the other side now you can push this and it releases that uh latch here for your lever uh, you know your mountain thing here to come off and everything else so that's pretty neat and that's what i really enjoy so i can go to the range slap this on on my side with any belt basically and ready to take it off i can just mash the button on the bottom and take it right off i don't have to loop any belts or anything like that so that's very awesome and again it fits my polymer 80 build so anyways i'm just going to do some little bit shooting drill here uh just to show you how well is uh, retention and everything is which is very nice as you can see and it's got two screws here where you can adjust the tension as well so anyways let's stop talking take a few shots and then give you my final opinion of what i think and why you should get one of these if you have a polymer 80 build so stay tuned all right guys uh as you can see i got the holster right here very easily uh fits very nice very minimal again it's got a good retention and it works just perfectly fine with my Palmer Eddy built, which is awesome. I really need to get another one for my other firearms and so on. So, all right, here we go. So 
here we go. I mean, I know those are to consist of uh, the holster here, but as you can see, uh, you can holster very nicely uh, without no issue. Everything goes in and out, very smooth and simple. Just like any Codex, it all takes practice in holstering and holster your weapon where are no issues. And again, I really enjoy this holster here and I really recommend it if you have a Parma 80. So, all right, let's go back and give my last opinion what I think about this and why you should get one. All right, guys, just a simple video of a Codex here, which I think if you're looking for, for your custom build, your Parliament 80 frames, they also make for other type of firearms as well, just your standard Glock and everything else. But just make sure to check them out. Again, Knights Fall Customs and price varies it all depends what you're looking for if you want it with a light bearing or not uh different uh rmr cuts different clips depending on the clips and everything else uh you know you can get it and it costs you know different prices another thing i forgot to mention with this uh mountain device here you have the option to can it uh you know forward or back however you want it to carry your firearm uh, pretty much just straight forward with me, straight up, up and down, nothing very fancy, but again, uh, very awesome clip, and I recommend getting one of these uh, if you're looking for one for your Parliament Eddie. So guys, thank you for watching again. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below what you think, what's your favorite holster making brand. Uh, to me, they're all the same. It's just what you're looking for, depending on what you're going to use it for. Uh, for training, for classes, or just to carry, however, conceal, whatever. But they do make inside the waistband as well. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support for the last couple of years. Follow me on Instagram if you're not. You're missing out on giveaways every month, as well on Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Check all the links down below. Check my homepage for coupon codes, affiliated links. Also, I do have a merch store from uh, Spray spread shirts and um that's another way to support the channel as well by buying a t-shirt hoodie or whatever that i have on there link that below as well guys thank you for watching i'll see you the next one goodbye